my name's Darren Marshall and um, I'm doing a project down here with um, South East LLS looking at collaring feral pigs. I guess we're doing it for two reasons in my mind. One is to distill, dispel myths and work out where these pigs are actually moving in the landscape. And the other part is so that we can motivate people to work together. So there's a research component and then there's an engagement component. And I think that engagement component is really important because people are interested in where pigs go and what they do. They all have their beliefs about where pigs go. And what we can do now is actually give them the facts about where that is. And from a research point of view, it's about ecology. So it's about home ranges. It's about where they are in different seasons so that we can then work with these people to actually really do a good effort on coordinating their efforts for control and getting a good outcome hopefully because we're much more targeted where we're implementing the control. Yeah, so th this is a collar, but just about to collar a small sow here. Um, the 3D batteries are down here, the GPS unit and the VHF tractor is all up the top here and that just goes onto the pig nice and snug around their neck and bolts on. Um, we, use a, we use a drug to knock them out and that's just so that we can make sure that we get that collar on firmly, not too tight, but so it won't come off. And then that just means we've got a better outcome because we're not recollaring pigs all the time and, um, and we can hopefully get the data that we need. So we use a jab stick, this is the top end of it and it just goes on a pole and we put the, we put the Zolotil in here and the needle and then we, we jab that pig and then that'll knock the pig out for about an hour. And that gives us more than enough time to collect DNAs, maybe collect blood, put an ear tag in with phone numbers on so that if people get the pig they can return it and of course attach the collar. Sort of. It needs to be less than 5% of their body weight and the reason that is is so that it has a minimal impact on the pig's daily activity. We have to go through a whole range of animal ethics and procedures to make sure that we do it correctly and so that it does exactly that, that it doesn't have an impact on the pig. So we need to make sure we don't put it on too tight. Obviously if we put it on too loose it comes off but we need to make sure we're looking after the animal's welfare because at the end of the day we want to get really good data out of this animal and we want it to tell us what it would be doing and it won't do that if it's um if it's being encumbered by this by this collar um this country's a bit new to me i guess but obviously there's the environmental impact um that national parks and, and landholders are interested in, but then there's also a production impact. And whether that's predation on lambs, whether it's just rooting up pasture, taking away taking away forage for sheep and cattle, or disease transmission, leptospirosis, brucellosis, things like that. And we need to test all those things so we can give all of that information back to the landholders to motivate them to want to get rid of these pigs. Mm -hmm.